Okay, Spring Lafay, Simple Tarot. Okay, Aquarius. Um, I feel to go to the Native Heart Healing Oracle deck today. Um, so, I have pre shuffled. I'm going to go three and cut. Unless they throw it out. Now, if they throw it out, we go with that. Um, let's see what we get for you. Well, Aquarius. Ah, okay. And as you can see, they've thrown two out. Normally, I would not do the two, but I feel like I'm supposed to. So, I'm going to go with it. And I'm going to tell you what I feel, and I'm going to read to you from the book. Uh, we have got number 41, Base Chakra. And I feel like this is about, because we have number 32, Self Love. This is about how you see yourself. How do you um, view your own inner self? Do you respect yourself? Do you know your self-worth? Uh, do you love yourself? You know, and I feel like that with the base chakra being here, I feel like this is really, there's a need to go within and there's a need to look look within yourself, looking back within. Um, do I mean looking at every relationship? No, that's not what I'm saying. Look within yourself. And that's what I'm getting from these two cards. Now, that's what I'm feeling. So, now I'm going to read to you from the cards. I'll show you the two cards. Like I said, normally I would not do the two cards, but I am feeling that they are meant to go together. So, okay. We will start with the number 41, Base Chakra. And I'm going to read to you what it says. Give me just a second. I have to find it in the book. Number 41. Base chakra. Okay. Primal force. We got some, some um, important words. You know, some words. Um, I'm not sure the word to use for that. Fertility and abundance. Deep within the red dirt of our earth lies the roots of our guardian trees. The ancestors of this land. So some, you know, whoever I'm talking to, you may need to get yourself grounded. You may need to, um, I want to say go back to the roots, but... At the same time, I feel like, you know, just getting in touch with yourself and getting in touch with nature and really being out in nature is going to help you to do that. Okay, it says, the base chakra mandra, mandala, which is this, this card, this shape. Do you see that shape? Brings you grounding energy. Do you see what I'm saying about getting grounded, being grounded? And if you don't have these cards, that's fine. I want you to look at that mandala. You can stop. You can uh, stop the video. You can just look at it. The energy will be with you if you allow it. Okay, ready? From the depths of the night sky, you were born via a divine spark from the distance Distant constellations you call home. This mandala reminds you of the importance of grounding your ethnic self. Or etheric self. Sorry about that. Etheric self. Deep within the earth you now call home. The tall ones are guiding you to remember that a tree without deep roots will not flourish. As it will be in survival mode. You see, and that makes so much sense coming out with self-love. You know, um, but one thing, you know, building a solid foundation, but at the same time, you know, I feel like with self-love coming out, I feel like this is about someone or many being at one with themselves, you know, having that foundation within themselves, um, it's very important, and that's what I'm feeling. Okay, where was I? Sorry about that. 
The same is true for everyone. The energy of surviving no longer serves you. As you anchor deeper and embrace your physical foundation, you will find joy in welcoming and thriving energy that comes from being grounded. The deeper the roots, the higher the climb, the greater the view. Surrender to the gift of your human self. See, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Um, you know, these, these books do have meditations with them, but it's hard for me to do those, <laughs> those meditations with you when I, I often have outside noise. I may try to do them at a later date, um, but it's hard, you know, lots of times I'll have dogs barking or outside noise. Now let's move on to self-love, and you can let me know what you think about that, you know, me uh, trying to do those um, meditations. Okay, we have self-love, which is number 32. Let me find it. Right here, self-love. Okay. Cherish yourself. Be true to you. Your needs are important. Let me re repeat that to you. While you look at this card, cherish yourself. Be true to you. Your needs are important. And yes, they are. If you don't see that, you need to. This healing mandala blesses you with a message of self-love. It says, there is no need to seek love as it already lives within you. Love yourself first and foremost, every day, in every way your heart desires. When you yourself, as the perfect being and creation that you are, you will attract a soul partner and friendships that will reflect the very same back to you. This card also has a message for those that choose to give to others. Before giving to others, it is important to choose to fill your own cup regularly. Before you fill the cup of others, in doing so, you will always have so much more to offer. By loving yourself first, you give the most beautiful gift within the, this universe. The permission for others to love and accept themselves too. Self-love is our greatest responsibility. And um, as I said with the other card, we do have a meditation for that. So, you know... Um, it's, like I said, it's hard for me to do the meditations with you because of outside noise. Um, but yes, this, you know, loving yourself and, and having that closeness with yourself will help you to bring in what is meant for you. Bring in that soul partner. Bring in that, um, you know, that, that them loving re relationships and friendships that you may so desire. This is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, it truly is. So that's what I've got for you. Um, let me know how you like these. Um, I love them myself. But do give thumbs up. Please do subscribe. Please do share out the readings. And um, thank you so much for being here with me. I appreciate each and every one of you. Much light and love. Bye.